There are signs that below the surface, some American consumers are actually starting to really struggle. For more, let's bring in Lisa Abramowitz. Lisa. Yeah, Caroline, this has been a big question hanging over markets. How long can consumers continue to fuel uh, the resurgent U.S. economy? And there are some cracks getting uh, becoming uh, more prevalent in consumer credit markets. Take a look, for example, at auto loan delinquencies. These are severe, seriously late auto loans reaching uh, near the highest level since 2011. Uh, this has been an area of concern for a while as uh, people are taking out a record proportion of auto loans at rates uh, that do uh, go pretty high at this point. But it's not just in the auto sector. If you take a look at credit cards, for example, uh, you're also seeing credit card delinquencies at banks outside the top 100 uh, surging as well. And so the question here is why? Does this indicate uh, deteriorating underwriting standards? A lot of people say yes. Does this indicate a growing stress in the economy that perhaps is not picked up by the averages? People also say yes. But the question is, what do you do with that, uh, with UBS and Analysts saying there is a two-tier economy uh, with the lower-income Americans struggling to meet their bills, taking on a growing amount of debt, including uh, maxing out their credit cards or borrowing to buy cars uh, and not necessarily having the wherewithal to pay it back and seeing their rates rise. While at the upper end, people are comfortable. So sometimes the averages aren't necessarily telling the whole picture when it comes to how strong the U.S. consumer really is.